Hi folks, my name is Elizabeth. I am from Conifer Crow on Etsy. This is a flip through of one of my magpie bundles, which is a bundle of various flat, vintage, eclectic, new, handmade papers and fun stuff, all bound together. So to give you a surface to work on that isn't blank, and it can be kind of fun and inspiring. Um, some people call them junk journals, that kind of thing. This one is one of my large magpie bundles. It is approximately six by nine, so you can fit quite a bit in these. Uh, they are tied. This one has a neat tassel. There was a tassel on this particular bit of fabric. They are fabric covers that have been patchworked together and then sewn into a, let's see, there we go, sewn into a wraparound cover to keep everything safe inside. This one I did also put a little pocket in, so if you've got a favorite pen you like to work with or something, you can stick it right in here. I'm a fountain pen person myself, but drawing pens will fit just as well. This is all like vintage Chinese um, silk embroidery and all that kind of fun stuff or not embroidery, uh, brocade and that kind of thing, along with some other correlating decorator style fabrics. Get rid of that. And some silks, some neat silks and some, some velvet. It's very tactile. It's, it's all been scribble stitched over so that everything is held together really well. And the inside, there are three signatures. There's quite a few, I don't know if you can see, let me, ah, there we go. There are quite a few pages. Usually these things range between 96 and 128-ish pages, depending on how, um, depending on whether or not I can stop once I start making them. I tend to patchwork my pages together with a sewing machine, as you'll see here soon, and there are pockets and all kinds of crazy stuff. And let's just get to the flip through here. I'll try to be relatively brief, which never happens if you know me. <laughs> This is painted rice paper. A little tuck spot there. There are pages that are shorter. There are pages that, these um, bundles that are on the sides, there's all kinds of stuff in there. This one has a vintage envelope and some correlating papers, that kind of thing on, like this is vintage um, blueprint, blueprint paper. All kinds of stuff stuck to the side. You can either use this in the book as some of your uh, some of your embellishments or whatever, or use it in something else and just stick something else to the edge of the page too. That's fine. Lots of vintage book pages. I did make some tags and things, and put in some vintage postcards. I say vintage a lot. This is cool. There's there's a little pocket here. This is a collage done on leather. So you've got that neat leather feel to it. I love that. Suede, I guess. So it's not vegan. I should probably mention that. This one is not vegan. There we go. More tags to use. That's supposed to be. There's a flip here. I got all of these really great um, vintage games at one of the the vintage shows that I, or the thrift shows. I it was it's not really a it's not really a flea market that they hold here three times a year, but they call it the world's largest garage sale, and there were literally eight hundred vendors, eight hundred the first time I went. There were a few less in the summer show. Apparently the fall show though is the biggest one. The spring show is 800. If it, how can you get any more than 800? <laughs> I think I would just fall over. I'm, I don't know. But there were great deals and great stuff. So I stuck a lot of that stuff in here. This was one of the things. And a fortune telling fish. If you've never seen those, those are kind of neat. There's all kinds of stuff in here. This paper, by the way, I, I hand coffee dyed this and it is thicker than regular paper. Works fabulously with fountain pens. 
the papers. This one, by the way, is called Eastbound. Um, I, I, even though it was inspired by the Chinese decorator fabric, I was reluctant to go kind of full stereotypical Asian with it. I didn't want to be culturally insensitive. So there's more of a world feel, like a world traveler feel to it. Kind of a, I would say Silk Road, but then again, we're getting really toward insensitivity. But you know what I mean. So I tried to keep it as, as sensitive as I possibly could while still being travel related, going on a pilgrimage. These are actual vintage photos that I got from a thrift store. More. It's a little tuck spot. Again, I used a lot of this painted rice paper with the alcohol inks and the, the white paint. Um, I love how this stuff feels. It almost feels like fabric. It's the neatest stuff. When you get it and you touch it, you'll know what I mean. It's amazing. Lots of vintage book pages again. This will act as a tuck spot. You can shove something underneath there and it'll stick. Some more cards to use for journaling. Random ephemera. I like this. I don't think, I think that's sewn in. It is. And there's some photos and postcards and tags. I really tried to put a whole lot of fun stuff in this one. So you could record your journeying both foreign and domestic, imaginary and real. Sometimes imaginary trips are better. There we go. This was the cover of some old sheet music. I just liked the way it looked. Stamps and papers. This is a little pocket, it's a dual pocket. So this side is a pocket that goes in this way. And then this side is also a pocket, which is kind of fun. Two pockets for the price of one. I do leave my strings long a lot of times because I kind of like that look. It sort of adds to that whole messy thing that's going on. You can certainly clip them off and it's not gonna fall apart though, just so you know. If your aesthetic is a little cleaner, This is a tuck spot, or you can put hidden journaling back there that's just inked. Put a couple of book pages in here for you to use if you'd like. This is an actual pocket. Vintage ledger paper, which I use in everything because I absolutely adore this, and it's huge. I got this huge old ledger at an antique store once, and I have been using it for Geez, almost three years now, and I am not even close to using half of the paper. This is a booklet for extra journaling space if you want to write things down. And some more game pieces. This is fun. I like using envelopes and things. So I tucked a page in there and sewed around it so you have the envelope still but it doesn't look like an envelope stuck in, which is fun. And I don't know why I used him, but I, he, he just looked hilarious there. Some more cards, and then there's some more ephemera down in here too, but there we go. Vintage slides that are actually slides, and some more of that patchwork fabric that you can stick down in various places. Maps. Old National Geographic pages, which are just fun. A little tuck spot that's not necessarily square. More of that patchwork. There you go. And this is the fabric that I used on the inside, quilting cotton. And you just 
fold it, you know, essentially roll it back up. This one's a little different because of the tassel, but you just wrap it once and then put it around the button to close it. I usually wrap it about three times just to make sure it's secure and then I tuck it in here just to keep that little other dangly edge. It's already got one dangle. So I just tuck the dangly edge in there so that it doesn't get in the way or get caught on anything. But this is Eastbound and it will be in the shop probably tomorrow, which is the 11th of August, 2018. Um, it may be a little bit later. I've got some stuff going on, so it may not be. If not, it'll definitely be there by Monday in case you're seeing this later. I will put the shop address up here. And thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me ramble. One more to go.